Dear friends and followers, welcome on board my channel Pilot Alexander for a new video about the pilot's departure briefing. And who better to share this video with than the youngest female pilot who became a captain on a white body aircraft directly at only 29 years old, the Airbus A330 captain Mariska. Hi everyone, thank you very much uh, Alexander. It's a great pleasure to be sharing uh, this video with you today and introducing the aviation world of knowledge to our followers and all our aviation lovers around the globe. Pleasure is mine, Captain Maris. Let's immediately start and introduce you guys the first scenario. We are on board an Airbus A330-300. Even so, I'm an A380 pilot now, but I am still qualified and current on my previous type flown the Airbus A330. Uh, yes, Alex, uh, today we are at uh, Hamad International Airport in Doha, Qatar, and we park at Stand uh, Charlie 6. And we are getting ready for our beautiful flight to Charles de Gaulle, Paris, France. Flying time today will be approximately 6 hours and 55 minutes, and we shall be cruising at a final altitude of 38,000 feet. Alex, do you mind if I fly to Paris? It has been such a long time since I'm able to do a landing over there. I would really love to do so. I was sure you were going to ask this. Absolutely no problem, Captain. You can take it. So I will be pilot monitoring for this sector and you will be pilot flying. On our way back from Paris, I will be pilot flying and Captain Maris will be pilot monitoring. So Captain, all the documents have been signed and checked and if you are okay, we may proceed to the aircraft. Sure, you have the envelope with you? I have got it, I have got all the documents and we can go. Let's go. Refueling is completed, all passengers are on board, external electric and air conditioning is disconnected. Checked, Captain, I have uh, done the walk around, all my PM duties are done and I have checked the FMS. Very well, are you ready for briefing? I am, please go ahead. Today we fly the Airbus 330-300. Aircraft status is good, we have no MEL items, however, we do have a few uh, ADDs but they don't have any performance impact or any operational procedures and they are all within their validity. Check. We are parked at uh, stand uh, Charlie 6 Check. on chart 20-9 Charlie, effective 11 October 2018. We expect to push back facing south on Whiskey 1. Check. Then we will taxi Whiskey 1, Juliet, Lima to the holding point of 3-4 left and for there we will line up 3-4 left. This is what they usually give us, so we expect to taxi via these taxiways. Take of emergency briefing. This will be a left and seat takeoff, standard call out, standard operating procedures. Below 100 knots, I will call stop for any relevant reason. Between 100 knots and V1, I will call stop for any warning, caution, loss of engine thrust, or any indication that the aircraft will not fly safely. If my call is stop, I will simultaneously put the trust levers to idle, apply maximum reverse, verify the operation of the auto brake, or apply max manual braking. Check. When the aircraft has come to a complete stop, I will make sure I stow the reverses, stat and confirm the parking brake is on, and I make a PA, attention, crew at stations. Your actions will be? Meanwhile, I will monitor auto brake operations. I will check reverses and spoilers have been deployed. Once the aircraft has come to a complete stop, I will contact ATC, advise them that we are stopping on the runway. I will locate the evacuation checklist at the back of the QRH and wait for your command for any ECAM action if it is required to do so. And we will not attempt to vacate the runway unless we are certain that the evacuation is not required and it's safe to do so, which we will decide together. Check. If my call is go, we will continue the takeoff with no other action below 400 feet other than racing the gear, application of toga if required, cancelling any oil warnings and advise ATC of our intentions. If we have an engine failure before the divergent point on the SID, which today is 500 feet, then we will proceed with the special engine outset 
on chart 27 Delta, dated on 14 September 2018. Special answer today will be at 5 DME from Doha, we turn left on a track of 291 and we will accept the radial 321. Check. And at 15 miles from Doha, we will proceed to position Inili. At Inili, we will enter the hold. There will be right turns with an offset entry in bond course 180 degrees. Check. MSA in the holding is 2300 feet. There we will do all the procedures needed. And as well today, we will be required to do an overweight landing checklist. Check. For return back to Doha, we expect radar vectors for the ILS on 3 4 right, which has all been set up in the secondary flight plan. And it is checked. For the SID today, we have been cleared for the Patton 1 Whiskey departure on chart 20 3 Victor 6, effective 26 April 2018. Checked. Cross check and validated by both of us. We do have a restriction on position unlock of 7000 feet, which have been set up on the FCU. However, experiences show they're expect to uh, climb unrestricted by ATC. Yes, Captain, this is what they usually give us. And uh, let's not miss 250 knots below 10,000 feet, above 5,000 feet. ATC can give us uh, a higher speed and we may accelerate if it is required by them only. After departure, I will contact 119.725 Doha departure frequency. Thank you very much for adding that. So in Doha, we don't have any terrain. However, we do have man-made obstacles. We have the Pearl, we have West Bay. The weather is very good. You can put terrain on your side. It will be on, on my side. So fuel on board required today according to flight plan for the 6,000 kilos, which we have on board. Checked. Tail stack awareness today is 10 and 14 degrees. I did receive a, a no talk from the Red Cap. However, we don't expect any dangerous goods. We do have AVI on board. Two Falcons joining with us to Paris. They will be located in the bulk and have a temperature requirement of 20 degrees. And 20 degrees has been set uh, at the temperature control. Thank you very much. Radnav has been set both sides to the Doha VOR frequency 114.4. It is checked. Threats. We don't really have any special threats today. However, on a morning departure out of Doha, it's normally very busy with ATC and other frequency. It is. I will be monitoring. So Alex, do you have any uh, questions, suggestions, remarks or anything you would like to add? Thank you very much, Captain. Your briefing was very clear. But if you guys have any question, suggestion or remark, please don't hesitate to put it in the comment below. And if you guys would like to see the arrival briefing into Paris of Captain Mariska or my departure briefing from Paris, please make sure to put it in the comment below. below. Thank you very much for joining us today. See you soon. Cheers.